this is a brief video showing the helping hand, how it operates, and how it's made. This is a scissors arm boom which attaches to a tabletop with this clamp and at the end we attach our power attachment base. Power is run from a wall transformer through the boom to that power attachment base and is plugged into this connector in the bottom of the base. There's a switch on the front that turns on and off the power to three power ports on the front which are used to power uh, accessories such as LED lights, Dremel tools, so forth. There are two vertical slots and in those two vertical slots the attachments actually go into those slots and it will hold up to three different attachments. The attachments will receive these flex arm accessories. This is a clamp, a flex arm clamp. It will articulate to different positions and it screws in to this accessory. And then if you need two clamps, you just screw another clamp into the attachment and now you have two clamps and they can be put into the head so that you have two clamps. If you need some uh, lighting to go with that, then you can take a two of the flex arm lights, enter that attachment and turn the power on and as you can see, now we have light on our work area. If you need additional magnification, there are magnifiers attachments that will allow you to put a magnifying glass into that area where you can magnify the work that you're doing. Then those can be quickly changed out To other uses, for example, power tools, you could take a Dremel tool attachment, put that Dremel tool attachment in. Um, you could also add some uh, lighting if you need it to that. Plug that in and have the light and your clamp and your Dremel tool in and do that work. And we can undo that attachment. We could go to a microphone attachment. Put this microphone in. Put a blank filler in here. And now our camera. And now we have the um, <coughs> a setup for doing a uh, podcast or something where you can or YouTube videos where you have your microphone and your camera positioned and you can change positions with it. You could also there's an, atta uh, an attachment to attach a tablet. You could have a tablet here have text on there and be reading from that while you're broadcasting or podcasting uh, you can even do karaoke and have your uh, lyrics there while you're recording a song. Um, so there's very op various options there. There's an educational option where we can take and install a 1000 power microscope attachment. Then, and we may want some additional lighting with that, so let's say that we go ahead and add our additional lighting here, and we add our tablet, or iPad, whatever, to that, 
and then once we get that in position we can plug in the microscope to the iPad and be in a science lab or something at school dissecting and at the same time we're dissecting we're with the microscope we're seeing that image on our iPad or tablet and it can even be recorded so that's uh, one of the educational applications of the device another application is this configuration here where we've taken a circuit board we're holding it with a plastic clamp we have a metal clamp holding a capacitor and additional lighting added so we can see what we're doing that allows the user to take a solder and soldering iron and solder that part into place um, so it's adding a lot of features there doing a lot of different things there's also an accessory that gives you a cross line laser this is good for layout work and drafting uh, they're used in uh, sewing and quilting also there's also an application for an increased amount of light where you can use higher powered LED lights to light a work area and also add clamps and accessories to that there are vice clamps accessories uh, available different size Dremel tools heat guns and so forth so these are just some of the examples of how the helping hand can be used